After doing the two first videos on how to work in series, I had 34 pieces lying in a stack at my table saying to me, users. I don't think they were good enough for the wall. So, and to be honest, there isn't much room or space left on my walls anymore. So I decided to put them in a book, a simple book structure. But since they were made on 300 GSM wallpaper and I wanted all spreads and all pages to have two pieces on, it was impossible just to glue them on the stop substrate because it would not be able to, the book would not be able to lie flat it would be open like this i can remember seeing someone doing an accountant book binding and i thought this binding would be good for my pieces the paper structure will be the same as an accountant but the binding itself is more like a mix of an accountant and a Japanese book binding. I won't give you any measurements, uh, just show you the way I did it. But there's only one measurement who is important because you can decide whatever size your book should be. But you will see there would be two scores on the left side that two the measurements of those two stripes you have to add to the measurements of your book if you know what i mean in my uh, case the stripes were three centimeters or one and a quarter inch so let us begin I decided to use this Kenson watercolor paper as my substrate uh, for the pieces in the book and the measurements you can see here. The height of the paper was a little too high so I took two of these and I measured, well not measured, but decided they should probably be glued down like this. So I cut this strip off. I have this scoreboard, unfortunately for me, as a Dane, it is in inches because I'm used to work in centimeters. But I think I figured out that approximately one and a quarter is the same as three centimeters. So I scored here and here and again at one and a quarter and double up it is two and a half. It's hard to do sitting down. I would recommend you stand up and do it. And I have another one, so you can score that too. The easiest way for me was to glue small pieces on the pages before I began to fold or make holes. So I will show you how I did that. 
I like to line line it up so I know it is this this line is straight. So I just have some ordinary school glue, nothing fancy, but you could use a glue stick or any kind of glue you want. And I just take my fingers or my finger and smear it out. Yeah. And I dry my finger good off. Then I eyeball it. Um this and this and this should be the same and i think it is now like this and then i'll take paper and you can see it was moving a little but you have some a little time to correct it one and then I take the second one my fingers off again carefully take it up and try to line it up it's a little difficult sitting down <laughs> doing this but I think this is fine I flatten it out. Like this. Then I turn it around and do the same on the other side. I do the same with this one. This here is the last piece on the last page. And I will think, yeah, this is okay. And again, I will take my paper and press it down. Put it under here 
and let it dry. The yarn completely dry. It will take a couple of hours, but anyway, now it's time to make holes. This is the two scores. You take the first one and just put it backwards. And this one, and so, and put it backwards. So. I have this thing here for punching holes. I don't know what it's called in English, but it is used in Denmark for punching holes in papers, and you could put them in the papers in a, in folders. <clears throat> this one has a little thing you can squeeze in and out, so it will make the length you want. I won't fiddle with that now because I have made holes earlier, and I know this is the way I want to use it but I can show you afterwards. So I take this paper here, put it in and really push it this way in and th this down there. So I'm sure it's, it's okay. And th then I put, push two holes Then I turn it around and do exactly the same thing. So I end up with four holes and uh, again I can show you here yeah. push and of course if you have don't have this one you and it is quite big holes but <clears throat> I want to use a big string to bind it but you can use um, a crocodile or you can use an owl or you can use yeah, you can also use one of those uh, for making holes in, in leather. But then you have to measure a lot. I think this is a nice way <laughs> and you don't have to measure anything. So here they are, all of them. And you can see I have already made all the others and made holes in them. And here they are, all of them lined up. So I will be sure they are lined up correctly. And to help myself, I would put clamp on and not to destroy my papers I have put another paper under here and yeah I'll this one and put a clamp on here so I have this uh, leftover from when I was knitting it's a cotton yarn of some sort uh, and I think it would color-wise look nice. So I have taken the height three times here of the book. And now we see here. I come up from and I let a little of this hang here and I go all the way around and go up again and try not to put the needle in the, in the yarn so it will split. you have to push a little. So then I go up to the next hole, put it, the needle down and tie it again, put it around. And 
tight again. Up here in the next hole. Up again and tighten it. And up here. Tighten it. And tighten it. And look at the other side to see if they are tight here too. And then we go the other way around. We go down here. Whoops. It is a little too much perhaps. Yeah. I come up here, down here, up here, yes, and I tighten it, and you can see this is where we started, and this is where we end. I'll take my scissors and cut the needle off and I think I will cut this knot okay. and before I tie any more knots I will see if it is tight of course you can use uh, any thread you can use wax linen or anything but I just thought this would look nice. And then I tie the knot here. And another knot, that would be okay, I think. And that was the binding. Now we want to see if the pages can open. Yeah. It's a little too wide for the camera sorry <laughs> but you can see it is quite fine and this is because you have this skull here you can turn it I think this is a, a fine binding for books uh, where you want to glue heavy things on both sides because you have double here and you have double in fact you have three three double here but you can see it lies flat and it, it doesn't stand <laughs> like this so but of course you can use any papers heavier papers you want so this is where they ended all my small pieces and I think here, when it's quite dry, I would write notes uh, of how I did it and what materials I used. And yeah, I can even write anything I want on this page. Perhaps a date to see when I made it. I hope you like the way I did this. Bye bye.